my kid has access to the internet. He will go onto my computer at times, go to YouTube, type some of his words in that he knows will yield the content that he so desires to see, which is these cars that go down a hill and get destroyed and devastated by the obstacles. And it's, it's really cool, high action. Sometimes the car gets in the hill, it's a game or something, and, and they win. There's, there's zero things that I dislike about it. And I'm absolutely okay with him searching for this content. But his ability to be getting on the internet, getting on my computer without me knowing about it, it's not lost on me. Me who had the ability to search for content on the internet at an early age and perhaps damaged my brain in a way that I needed to correct it in my years, especially during marriage. I don't want my kids to suffer that same fate. As a parent, it's, re it's necessary, it's absolutely necessary for me to control what my kids are able to get onto the internet and do. And the ways that I'm choosing to do that is using third-party software. Some common third-party software include Bark, Custodio, and Net Nanny. And what does this par third-party software do? Well, it blocks websites outright. And I don't necessarily know all the websites that I want to block, but a couple come to mind. It also filters content. So in certain content that you don't want to see, like gore, gore, girls, skin, as well as perhaps hyper fantasy stuff. I don't want them to have that content, so it's filtered out. Time limits. Kids really don't need too much stimulus when it comes to enjoyment. They have such great imaginations. The internet and games actually reduce their capacity to use their imagination. I don't want to do that. So set time limits on how long they have access to the screens, as well as monitoring. See what my kids are doing. They're my kids. This is my roof. <laughs> I'm going to know exactly what they've been up to. And this is not just a software thing. You could also go into your router and, 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 and articulate which websites you do not want your kids to go to or which websites are the only allowed websites to go to. Keep in mind, if you're a parent, that you need to be aware of the dangers of the internet. And this isn't just the content or the, what they can see. It's also what they could get themselves into. The state of Arizona is the number one child sex trafficking state. You don't want your kid to be taken away from you and led down a life that is completely antithetical to what you want their life to look like. Be careful out there, because although the internet brings us all together in a way that can be amazing and we could create something bigger than the individual, it could also break us apart and be utterly devastating.